Here are the colours that I'm using. So I've got a blue, a dark brown, a tan brown, a beige. I know there's quite yellow in this light, but it's actually beige. All from my watercolour set here. Okay. I don't really like using squeezy uh, squeezy tubes, but if you do want to use squeezy tubes, then put a tiny, tiny little bit of your squeezy tube in, teeny tiny bit in just dot it into your palette and then work it into a, a small amount of liquid like this okay and just allow yourself the ability to change colors as you go along so starting with a base for the red kite we have a basically a pale brown so i'm just using these colors to get myself a color that i like a bit reddish on its tail so I'll probably go from these two okay start with the reddish tail and it's this color build up that we want to create as ever sort of giving us the ability to have the right color in the highlight area ready for later when we're adding that dark. So we're going to be adding dark all over this wing area here, but the lightest areas are along its back and its tail. So lots of this will end up being covered up, but we're just putting the colour down there first, ready, so that we've got a window of colour that we will keep later on. So it's a little bit more beigey into the wing here, a little bit redder here, redder, rustier, so I'm sort of replenishing the colours as I'm going along a little bit so I don't run out completely, trying to keep it wet so it's not drying in hard lines. So it's got definite kind of beigey sort of beak. It's quite it's quite grey on its neck, so I'm gonna leave that space there for some pale grey. It's gonna go well dark here, so I'm not gonna to be too worried about getting some dark tones in. So I'm basically filling filling the space, getting a nice base painted and then what I think I'll do is just go back to that head here because it is quite pale so I'm going to try and create with a smaller brush here more of a grey Blue is your most useful colour and I keep running out of blue, which is why I use blue from a different set quite often because it's the only blue that I've got. So I'm bringing some of this grey tone in here for later. I will be building on that grey, but I've just established it here. And then I'm going to look around to see if there's any more of that type of grey. Maybe a little bit more on its back. And then a little bit on the tip of its tail. And then I will either let that dry naturally or I'll get the hairdryer to it. 